Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, it's Shell. So we are continuing this, how to become a straight natural series. And today we are going to be talking about hair care products. So the products that you need to keep your hair healthy while you are becoming a straight natural. So these are the top three things you wanna ask yourself when you are searching around for products. The first thing is what is your hair porosity? If you're color treated, were you lifted with bleach? And then the current condition of your hair. So you want to know these three things because it's going to help you determine treatments that you possibly need to buy, the types of conditioners, the types of shampoos, leave-ins, how much protein, how much moisture you need in your hair. So these are the things you're going to want to ask yourself before you go out and buy products. So the first set of products I'm going to talk about is the Design Essentials and Mazani. So these are a step up from the Shea Moistures and the Myels. I typically don't recommend those products because those are curly girl products and they don't typically mesh well with you straightening your hair. So the Design Essentials and the Mazanis are like the lower level when you are trying to heat train and salon quality products. And then you have, you know, your top tier quality products. Both of these lines do have curly girl products, but you often see these products used in a salon because they do work really well with textured hair and when you are trying to straighten it. So with Design Essentials, you have detox shampoos. They have really good detox shampoos. They also have really good deep conditioners when you are trying to straighten your hair. So those are the two things that I really like from Design Essentials is their detox shampoos and their deep conditioners. So the deep conditioner you want to use, if you have like a finer texture hair, it's a rosemary mint one. And then if you have more of thick, coarse, dry hair, I would say go for the almond butter one. So next we have the Mazzani. Mazzani has really good shampoos and conditioners as well. But my favorite thing that I like to use from Mazzani is their 25 Miracle Milk. You guys see me use this a lot with um, clients that have thicker, coarser textured hair. So it gives it a lot of slip it gives the hair a lot of moisture but it's also lightweight so that's hard to formulate in products so the 25 miracle milk is really good for thick coarse textured hair when you are trying to suppress it because it'll leave it light as well now as far as mazani they do have good shampoos and conditioners i just personally think it's a little too heavy for most clients so that's why i stick with just the 25 miracle milk but i do see a lot of stylists using mazani shampoos and conditioners on people hair and give them a nice silk press. So the leave-in conditioner 25 Miracle Milk is really good for low porosity hair. Um, I think it's actually good for low, medium, and high porosity hair. It's just you don't want to use it on fine texture hair because it's a little too heavy for people with super fine thinner hair. So next up from the Design Essentials in the Mazanis is the She Nourish product. So these are my products. So we have the Nutrient Dense Shampoo, which is going to deeply cleanse your hair, but not strip it of its natural oils. That's really, really, really important. And then we have the Deep Conditioner. The Deep Conditioner is going to moisturize the hair. And if you continuously use it, you will notice that your hair is more hydrated and less dry. It's going to be easier to detangle. And then your silk presses will last a lot longer if you use this Deep Conditioner for a long period of time. Also, you want to make sure that um, you are using a Deep Conditioner that's formulated right. That is the key to a nice silk press. Once you get a deep conditioner that's formulated really, really good, you will notice that it's going to add moisture to your hair. Your hair won't be as dry, but also your silk presses still be lightweight. A lot of the times when you use deep conditioners, your hair will be weighed down after that. So once you go into silk presses, your hair is completely weighed down and it gives it a little greasy and stiff look instead of it being nice and flowy. So I wouldn't recommend the Design Essentials. Um, they have a line where it's for if you're straightening your hair, so they have like a thermal blowout um, cream and stuff like that. I don't recommend that line because it's too heavy. I used it, I actually used it in a video once and my hair was completely stiff and weighed down. So that's why I'm telling you guys specific products because not all of the lines have great products that will be great for you straightening your hair. So I use my products on all of my clients. So all the silk press videos that you see in all my videos, I'm using my shampoo and my conditioner. So I would detox the hair first with a detox shampoo. Then I'll go in with my shampoo. This is so important because one thing I noticed is that before I came out with my product line, 
after I was done doing a silk press, the scalp used to be dry and it used to have dry patches. Like people used to have dry patches because clarifying and detox shampoos, they're too harsh for their scalp to continuously use them. That's why I only use it once or twice and then I go in with my shampoo to make sure I'm not drying out their hair and their scalp. Next, we are going to talk about Kenra products. So all I have right now is the Kenra shampoo. I used to use this clarifying shampoo on my clients all the time. This will get the hair extremely clean. But like I mentioned before, when you're done with the silk presses, you kind of have those dry patches. So a lot of the shampoos that get the hair squeaky clean to give you a nice flowy silk press, unfortunately also you get, you know, the dry patches in the scalp. And I think long term, it doesn't do the hair justice. Um, I feel like it deteriorates the cuticle layer if you use clarifying shampoos too much, especially ones with sulfates in them. So my shampoo does not have sulfates in it. But um, a lot of times when you need to get the hair clean, you have to use clarifying shampoos with sulfates because they, they're the only cleansing surfactant that's strong enough to break down all the gels, the buildup, and just everything off the hair and the scalp. Because a lot of times nowadays, people are waiting three, four, two, three to four weeks also, all the way up to two to three months to wash their hair because... They're getting so wins, they don't like to deal with their hair. Nowadays, people's lives and schedules are so busy that we're waiting longer to wash our hair. So we have to clarify and detox more, but you don't want to do it too much because long-term is going to damage your hair and your scalp. So another thing with the camera products, so we also have the restorative shampoo and conditioner. This, these two products are really, really good if you have medium to high porosity hair and you want to see your curls bounce back immediately. So this is only for people who have like looser curls that have been straightening their hair for a while and their curls are loose. This won't be beneficial. Well, it'll still be beneficial, but it won't bring your curls back if you have like completely straight pieces. But if you use the restorative shampoo and conditioner, you will notice that your curls will bounce back almost immediately. It's a really, really, really good duo. So I recommend using that if you have looser curls and you want them to tighten back up. So I forgot to mention products for color treated hair. So now I don't do color. So only thing I do is kind of like recommend products that I know of that are good, still good for color treated hair. So my products, the She Nourish products are good for color treated hair. Also Kenra has products that are good for color treated hair. Um, Joico, um, Amika, I think that's how you pronounce it, and Olaplex are really good for color treated hair. So that brings me into the treatment that you will want to use, which is the Olaplex 0 and 3 for your hair. Um, you want to use that pretty often, I would say, however many times you feel comfortable. I would just say that with using the Olaplex treatment while you are becoming a straight natural because you're going to need a bond maintenance product to help keep your hair intact while you are heat styling because you're breaking down the bonds in your hair so you need those products to help rebuild the bonds now i will say stick with like olaplex and those higher tier product lines versus i think shea moisture came out with a bond maintenance um product line so i'm like mm, i would say stick to the higher quality because these products lines are just sometimes i feel like they just throw out anything just because it's popular so i would say stick to the higher tier uh, product lines if you are you know becoming a straight natural and you need a bond maintenance treatment next we are going to talk about leave-in so one of my favorite is the pravana i used to use this a lot i don't really use it anymore just because i found better leave-in so i mostly use the mazani 25 miracle milk or if you're looking for something with a little bit more protein in it, you can use the Pravana. Um, the Mazzani is for all um, porosities. This is, I would say, more for medium to high porosity hair. If you do want a thorough breakdown of the different type, exactly what I use for a silk press, I do have a training linked in the description box. So if you do want to use like a shampoo, detox clarifying shampoo that does not strip the scalp, too much um, I'll leave the training down below um, and then also the rest of the products that I use so I do use serums 
and then I use a thermal spray and a finishing spray as well so those will be in the training but you can pretty much use any serum that you like I used to use the design essentials one or the chi one um, just when you're using serums you just want to make sure you use like a very small amount like a pea size amount and then something a little bit larger if you're working on someone with thick coarse hair or if your hair is thick and coarse then you want to use just a little bit of serum after you blow dry it and then you want to use a thermal spray so i like to now use three layers of protection when i'm using heat okay so another thing that i want to mention is if you are starting off on i don't recommend you become a straight natural if you are starting off on really damaged hair i recommend just getting blowouts because blow drying your hair doesn't really damage it unless you're doing something crazy but other than that i recommend uh growing your hair out and making sure you don't have extremely split and frayed ends before coming a straight natural so you want to make sure you take care of the health of your hair first and then once you are transitioning out of that damage and you feel like your hair is healthy enough start with the design essentials and the mazani products first and then get your hair healthy and then go to more of the top tier products so if you do not know what flat irons with blow dryers you are supposed to be using on your specific hair type make sure you check out this video this is going to teach you everything you need to know about the flat irons the blow dryers you need to work for your specific hair type and to keep it healthy while you are becoming a straight natural